the F distribution. So in this table, you can also title it F crit, or finding the critical value of F. Um, and this is used for all your ANOVA analysis. Um, so your analysis of variance, um, also called factorial design, we call it um, ANOVA, right? abbreviation for ANOVA. So the same premise holds here though, um, as with um, T and Z, as long as our F obtained is larger than or finds itself in the critical region um, versus the F crit, you can reject your null hypothesis. If the F obtained though is not in that critical region, so it's less than our F crit, we fail to reject that null hypothesis. And so um, nothing, again, like I said, new there. This is the same thing we've been doing with T and Z. Now we're just calling it F for ANOVA. So a couple things to think about here, though. We do have um, two different degrees of freedom on the um, horizontal side of it, right? We have our degrees of freedom between, or DFB. And how we find that one is K minus 1. So DFB is K, the number of groups, minus 1. So if you have five different groups that you have, um, that you're working with for your study, then your um, K minus 1 would be, would be 4 for de DFB, degrees of freedom between. Over on this side, we have degrees of freedom within. And um, degrees of freedom within equals N, capital N, so total number of people in the entire sample, minus K. So if you have five groups of five, your DFB would be four, or right? actually you have five groups um, of five, so five minus one is four, but your DFW would be 25 minus five, or 20. Okay, so, okay, so let's find our critical value of F for, um, say we have three groups of three. Okay, so my degrees of freedom between would be k minus 1, so my number of groups minus 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So I know it's going to be somewhere in, um, oops, in uh, this, this section right here, right, because this is my first degrees of freedom. I'm talking about degrees of freedom um, between. So I have three groups of three. So my second, my degrees of freedom within, is N, capital N, so 9, because I have three groups of 3. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 3, because I have three groups. So um, 9 minus 3 is 6. So where it intersects is right here. Right? So let's say, that was kind of sloppy, right here. So let's say I'm going to do um, an alpha set at 0.05. So if my alpha set at 0 0.05, with my degrees of freedom being, and you would notate it like this, um, was it 2 and 6, my critical value of F equals, um, as long as I'm doing um, alpha 0 0.05, right, because that's in the, like the light face, um, 0 0.01 is in bold face, my light face would be 5.14. So same thing here, my critical value would be 5.14. If my F obtained falls somewhere in here, this is my critical region, I can reject that null hypothesis. Now if I would have said it was alpha 0 0.01, see how it jumps up so much higher, 10.92? I mean, that, that's, that's crazy high, right? That's, that's, that's a really tight um, critical region to try to hit into. Okay, so this is on the last page. So the F table has um, three um, pages, so we're still doing um, finding our F crit here. What if I had 10 groups of 10? Well, then my degrees of freedom, right? My degrees of freedom, um, let's go within first, right? So degrees of freedom within, again, was N minus K. So 10 groups of 10, would I would have 100 people in my sample minus 10 groups, so I have a DFW of um, 90, right? So that would be, well, it's in between here and here. And then my DFB, or my degrees of freedom between the samples, um, is K minus 1. So um, I had 10, 10 different groups minus 1, so I have 9. So I know it's going to be somewhere in this section, 
and then um, between, uh, let's here, let's see, eight, eight is right here, and eight is right there, and one hundred is there. So I would split the difference. So um, my eighty is one point nine nine, and my one hundred is one point nine seven. So my um, F crit or my critical value of F then would be one point nine eight, and that would be um, the the number to beat, right? So if my F obtained was larger than um, 1.98, then I could reject that null hypothesis. But if it was less than 1.98, I would fail to reject the null hypothesis. And just keep in mind that anything in the light face is going to be um, alpha 0 0.05. Anything in bold face, or like that darker, thicker font, is going to be alpha 0 0.01.